I the trials say... and tribulations of setting up live streams, and you're still thinking like you're on a mother flipping boat. I've been just with the, like, no, seriously, like, I don't know why mentally I think I'm thinking we needed to start at five. So I scheduled it, although, you know, right. I need to be out at five. So we got a solid hour here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tech fans of all shapes and sorts and sizes and persuasions. Welcome to a co-stream on TK's channel and on my channel, because we have this beautiful little box. What came from the Googles. And oh, I don't know, I don't know about you, TK, but I was looking at this brown packaging, this brown box here, and I really yeah. thought, you know what? This box's refresh rate is way too low for anyone to ever seriously consider using. I, it's not. It's not scrollable. This product. I don't think it's non-functional. I think it's a non. It's not. I, well. I shot this design. box with a high-speed slow-motion camera, and you can tell by the pixels yeah. that it's. It's a lower refresh rate box than a box that costs like four times more. You could it, buy a box that costs four times more than this box. Yep. And then that would be a better box to use for your packaging and shipping needs. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's what they were doing. I'm not it's commenting on any specific reactions to the Pixel 6a on this video. <laughs> No, Welcome sir, back Bob. To, Welcome back to the recent events. In the, no, okay. it, um, you know what? The, the box itself for me, I, it just felt right for the price point. I feel like, you know, it's a good box. It's a good solid box. It's, it's a good box. It, a good it really box. is. You know, and um, and what's inside of it is even better. That's, I think, the biggest thing. Uh, now, I, I showed mine because I ended up, uh, I, I didn't know how to contain myself. We're trying to coordinate this thing, honestly, and it's FedEx could be the worst <laughs> sometimes. Man, FedEx took their time today well, so, but yet, typically this, it's the this... other way around though right you usually get yeah usually i'm here. like ah, i got it in the morning uh, yeah yeah and like this time i'm like hey they showed up at my place first so we're like okay um i see a few a few of our friends are starting to join us welcome back welcome everybody yes top down we're going to be doing camera gymnastics up the wazoo um but we're well, i, to I gotta this... catch up to you though because you already have it out of the shipping box so, so keep keep introing i'm just going to yeah. catch up to where you are so uh, we're here. We want to share with you guys um, our unboxing. We talked about it last night on the best of our week. Um, and of course, mm -hmm. you know, surprise, surprise. Today is today is the day for us. To team Pixel. For um, Team Pixel. Every, team Pixel. And of course, thank you to Google or made by Google for um, allowing us to have, um, you know, a, a stand in this conversation, um, you know, a skin in the game a little bit and be able to actually <laughs> share some of our thoughts on this. And maybe, maybe we could actually sway some conversations to a certain direction uh, well, based on our impressions. I, it, it's time to deliver some counterpoints to, I feel, what some hot takes were that were maybe not the best considered hot takes from some like, other members uh, of the tech review community. Oh, look at that's, that. That's all I'm saying. L look at that. Guan just pixelating everything. Just, Okay, well, I see my it. stream is so pixelated. Oh my God. Does, 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 does it even function? Yeah, no, I, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm trying to set up things like, okay, I, I have to quickly uh, identify and locate at least three more pixels just to get close enough to the, you know, apparently what, 16 pixels that you're going? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, for sure. And, and exactly. Frank, Frank Gallo, box is unusable, hurts my eyes. Let's compare it to a higher refresh rate box. I mean, yeah. it, really, there's there's no other way to use a box than with ultra high refresh. So it's, yeah, I gotta, it's very I disappointing. My, my mouse away and... We'll do we'll do some pixels and we'll try to get closer to this and get see see what the refresh rate is on the inner box because I'm hoping that one's a and, little bit better. And I, I guess we need to throw a special shout out. Uh, every this is from Barry Johnson. I won't be active in this chat. My kids just surprised me from a oh birthday. My God. Happy birthday! I had man. no idea it was Barry I... Johnson's birthday. I need everyone in every chat that you might be watching this on to wish uh, Engineer Reacts, Mr. Barry Johnson, please, a please, wonderful and prosperous and happy birthday. Happy birthday! I Hope the weather's much better than what we have because we're cooking. So <laughs> well, no, he's in where, where he lives. It's probably not. We're probably a drier heat. Than I was going to say, yeah, he gets the humidity. <laughs> so you get, you get a little bit more of a oomph feeling. But yeah, happy birthday, sir. Hope you have a great weekend. Hope the family so, um, are, are, are you ready to, uh, to to kick open this this little shipping surprise here? This Let's is a very nice little packaged I like, um, I like presentation. The I love the colors. Uh, gives me a little bit of a, a flashback to the Pixel store in well, New York and I, I, a couple of weeks ago. That was nice. I remember like the Pixel 5a, I think, just came as the phone itself. Yes. I think. And so this the Pixel 6a, they're, they're, yeah, yeah. they're putting some, This is just a little nicer. Look at this. This is just yeah. a little cuter, kind of and sending it this way. Could. I 
little bit. I'm going to reiterate my criticism of reviewer packaging. And um, I, this goes for every manufacturer. Mm -hmm. This presentation should be sold as a limited edition fan version for all of the other consumers out there. Make a thousand of these and sell them as like a bundled kit and people would really appreciate this kind of first impression for their smart for smartphone purchase. Yes, and as, as Juan's talking, I'm giving you guys a quick, somewhat of a surrounding tour of the box. It's very nice. We have some nice colors on the side, uh, the same colors that we see within the Google or the G color, true. the red, yellow. Very red, true, red, true, true. Uh, orange, green, and blue. Um, so but so I think are you ready? To, yeah, let's let's. Are you on. ready? Do you, do you want do you want to also get to yours? We can do I, side by side. <laughs> I was like, yeah, why? My exposure's way off. I'm like way too bright. Um, You're too so bright. I'm like... I'm too low, and I feel like I could. But... Between the two of us, we have one functional stream. Hold on, let me let me jump bounce back a little bit. I think that's what the problem is. I think it's because I'm too close. Oh, so there you. Are. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't get the same one. Oh, we got different oh, colors. Dude, dude, Interesting. Dude, dude, remember last night? What did I tell you? Which one was I trying to order? Which was the one I was trying to order? Remember the words? I said, I, I said this, bro. This. They this. hooked it up. How did they, they know? did great? How did they know? Look at this. <laughs> look at this beauty. Oh my God, the right. Finally. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love yours, but this oh. was exactly the one I was looking. So this is the. Uh, hold on, let me bring it up here. This is the Pixel Six A. It's uh, the 5G sub uh, technology, so basically AT&T, T-Mobile, and um, uh, Verizon. I'm not sure they didn't say anything about that yet, but um, six. I think it's six gigs of RAM, 128 internal, and mine is the Sage, so Sage. Um, and I'm not yeah, sure where does it say? I, I never the, remember what the pixel colors are. On the top, chalk, that, yeah. On the so, pot. so this is chalk. It's it's kind of taken me back to the uh, panda vibes, panda panda. Panda, panda. panda right there baby. so like my, my 4xl right there so it, oh, you know my God. 4xl has a little buddy now so that's gonna well, be so fun. your 4xl yeah so you got the hold on see now that we're throwing out certain things on i know where my 4xl is <laughs> this isn't a competition i mean i'm winning but it's not a competition you are winning that's the i'm not saying it's not the sad part okay, a kit as helpful as a pixel 6a your Bam, own baby. real google assistant and augmented reality onboarding and of course Board. Your Orange, new Pixel 6a. Yeah. Enjoy an hour-long one-on-one Pixel 6a onboarding from our personal Google VIP concierge. Oh, and that's then pretty cute. There's one more little Your... sign here. It says, "Hey Google." Uh, oh, I guess I just initiated. Make my video review. Uh, <laughs> there's a there's an extra QR code <laughs> sitting there. I just initiated a whole bunch. But there's it doesn't seem like yeah. there's anything else in the box. I think it's yeah. It's, it's basically it's a nice packaging. I don't. Know, do you see anything on yours? It, uh, I'm like gonna, I'm gonna try and, I mean, yeah, I think this was just like a nice little, uh, like I, want I, I feel like I if this were to really, where I oops, Did you I just tore the side, so I don't think there's uh, anything else in here. Okay, so we're safe. It's okay. Um, so it is what it, this is. This is what we get. <laughs> I was like going in. It's like, McGonagall. but again, I, I a a nicer little uh, a nicer okay. little packaging surprise than what we got last year. I. I am totally for having this type of experience for, you know, Google fans or Pixel fans that want to be able to experience it exactly the way we are experiencing right now. So absolutely beautiful mm -hmm. packaging, very nice, simple, straight to the point, exactly know what is in the box, but you still get that special, you know, holiday, Christmas, I'm opening boxes on, you know, Christmas Day or the day after Christmas on Boxing Day. Definitely very, very nice. So. Oh, oh, look at that. Okay, so you you're way ahead of me. Okay, let's uh let's speed things up a little bit. Okay, uh, Frank down. Gallo. So when's the when's the review video coming out? You've already used it longer than most reviewers already. Frank, oh. you're watching the review, bro. You're watching the review right now. Look. Oh, see, I dig this. It is. It's panda. You got panda. Oh, panda. look. They know. I love that that little bit of kind of like a slate gray chin right at the top. I mean, forehead right oh. at the top. Look at side that. i just wish it had the orange power button the little orange sherbert power button but other I'm, than that no, it's I'm, taking I'm totally me right ready. back look i love that, that oh. look look at the camera sensors right there you got the two Ooh. camera sensors the, tw the dual 12 megapixels with the led on the right you get the nice bar oh my god so pixel six and of course uh we have the fingerprint sensor in display sim tray on the left volume up mm -hmm. and down on the right power button so nice configuration non-colored 
And, and of course, yeah, these camera see. sensors completely unusable because they're the same camera sensors that are similar sized camera sensors that were on the iPhone 12. Absolutely. And so, they don't even shoot. So now yeah. they, they can't shoot photos or video anymore. This is now almost a year out of date because someone who spent $800 on a phone last year would have similar camera performance to this $450 phone. And I'm sorry yeah. I even had to say that because I know a lot of you just threw up in your mouths just that I mentioned it. <laughs> so for me, I'm, I'm actually digging the fact that the, to the, from the 5.8 to the 6.8, they stuck with a more of a lighter oh, yeah. green on mine. So still a similar tint. Fingerprint sensor obviously now is in display as opposed to being on the back. Uh, camera stack is still actually in the same spot. Surprisingly, that even though they changed the design, it's, yep, you got it it's right It's very there. similar, yeah. Very, very similar. Um, no, on the top, obviously, we lost the headphone jack. We have one of the microphones that's on both of them. Yeah, although it did, we did, I'm, I'm trying to show like how that might, if I can get the camera to focus a little closer, it's ever so slightly just a tiny, it, it's like a yeah. bezel slimmer, or a bezel yeah. shorter than the Pixel 5a. Oh, it is actually. The Pixel 5a a is just a teeny tiny bit taller. The, the 6a, the 6A. Actually has a smaller display. So here we are. We're doing both up to the same level. So here, the power button, uh, it was textured on the 6A, on the 5A. It's more of a flat finish now, but positioned in the same spot. Mm -hmm. So you got power on top, Very volume nice. on the on the right. Bottom firing experience, and then carbon copy, the exact same thing. Almost exactly the same. Yep. Uh, uh, sort of vents and microphone ports and speakers um, on the bottom. All in the, yeah, all on the, the right level. The phone. And of course, on the left side, we have the SIM tray uh, that'll support a single SIM. And if I'm not mistaken, we should also be supporting eSIMs as that's typically what Google does with Project Fi. Uh, but no, uh, we have the antenna bands on the new design as opposed to what we have with the old one. The old one didn't show any of the mm -hmm. antenna bands. On this one, we do. It's closer to what we saw with the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. This is obviously the- Now, now the TK, I saw design. a big time tech reviewer who would really know about these kinds of things say that this was glass on the back of the phone. Um, what are, are we able to confirm whether or not that this is some kind of really nice, glossy, high quality plastic, or do you think that this is really glass? Like that big time YouTuber said it was glass I, on the back. Um, I think we can confirm it. It's, it's not, there are, there are, are, are you points. sure? Because he had way more subscribers than, than we do combined. Well, I'll give so if he knows things, that. he would probably know what's going on. Let's do the sound test, okay? So here's the glass. <laughs> if I'm tapping on glass, you wouldn't hear plastic. <laughs> this is plastic <laughs> tapping on the back. Uh, ASMR sorry, my, yeah, my keyboard just got a, a little bit of a shower there. So I'm glad you went to the sound <laughs> test as an audio nerd. I managed to keep the spittle from hitting the the camera and the hand and the phone that I'm we are, currently we are, using. We are falling apart at the seams. No, I'm just kidding, not at the seams. And of course, just to kind of throw a little bit more comparisons here, uh, let's see, can we get it? So you get the you get to see where the inspiration comes. This is the big oh, no. boy, the six pro, um, obviously with a very nice skin from Extreme Skins, mm -hmm. not sponsoring this video, but you can definitely see the aesthetics. It's, the bar is not as thick. The camera stack obviously is very different, but you get the design, uh, and they really did a decent job. I actually, it does. I mean, to the naked eye, if you're looking at it, it kind of looks like it has glass on the back. It does kind of have that, but it, it's a nice plot. It, it's a nice plastic. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, absolutely. You could feel the difference in like the, the weight distribution uh, and the way it feels. It's, it's slightly slimmer. Um, so you can to... and, and you can see, I mean, like I've got really gnarly diffusers on my top down lighting just to kind of mm -hmm. give me a little bit. Um, but you can see as they like as I catch the reflection on them, oh, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's it would be more. incredibly difficult if you were just seeing this out and about. Mm -hmm. It would be incredibly difficult to look at that and make an assumption on the build material. So I think we've arrived. It, you, my only concern, and, and, and obviously we're just like a minute into having taken this out of the box. So where is um, it? No, I know. I know what you mean. No, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so um, for TK, and I don't know what your experiences have been, but whenever I get glossy plastic, even though this is a nice glossy plastic, my fear is always as it ages, yep. this is going to scuff in a way that obviously glass won't. So I'm still probably gonna try and hunt for some kind of maybe just slim bumper to okay. put on this as opposed to my Pixel 5a, which has been rocked completely naked the entire time. This is like one of the oh, last phones I've I, ever used. I got cases that I've used baby. without. 
I, I'm already I'm already rocking. <laughs> of you I, got, do. I got two cases, one that's <laughs> fully covered and one that's exposed in case I want to enjoy the color. So uh I love it. I yeah. <laughs> would you believe it if I said I've had these uh, these cases for the last month and a half? <laughs> I would completely believe it. I I totally believe I that thing what you just said. For so long. I, I'm I'm going to I'm going to start just as a brief tangent. I've got to shout out the worst part of of having the Pixel 6 Pro. Absolutely the thing that I think has burned me the most over my time using this phone has been the Google bumper oh, case. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. thing discolored bad, it discolored fast, and it's warping. So yeah. I don't I don't know if I can really get a get a good look on this, but I here it's I bought my own, but it's yeah, I know what you mean. Bubbling and stretching around yeah. the USB C port, and it's so gnarly. So like the phone has been great. It it actually has kept my SIM card for very long stretches of time oh, in between absolutely. other reviews. I, this I case is hate. hot garbage. Look, we even have Do Barry not go on the, on the right there. Barry Johnson, right there. Hey, oh, Mr. Happy birthday, Barry. Um, but I mean, I want you to see as I kind of run the light, just how discolored, like coffee stained, it almost mm -hmm. is. And it's never like had coffee spilled on it. So I'm gonna try and find something a little better for my 6A. I'm gonna oh, hit absolutely. you up after the stream and see what kind of cases you might recommend. I, absolutely. And then for me, like I said, I, I ended up going with a clear case just to showcase the skin. Cause I love putting skins on and I know Omar already talking yeah. to me about getting a Dragon Ball skin. So we need to find a good one. Heck yes. One rocked in there. That's because you weird. raised your son correctly. Absolutely, man. Look, I mean, come on. You could see exactly where the inspiration happens right there. But um, yeah, let's go. That's ahead and, hashtag uh, good parenting right there. Hashtag for the win. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine on. Are you gonna turn yours on? Oh, you show I, the I cable would... and the stuff inside. I'm gonna turn. Yeah, this yeah on. I was gonna say you do the power on. I already done the power on on my side. So we got a USB C to C cable that's concluded in the box. We have the USB uh, C to USB A OTG adapter. Now this is gonna be very helpful nice. to use to transfer data from your old device if you need to via wire. But it's also nice to be able to plug in things. Um, so this will work. It's nice that they still include it, and then. We have a uh, SIM removal tool, obviously, to remove the SIM card. Last but not least, if I'm not mistaken, it should be just instruction manual, like just Google, welcome. Oh, yeah, the papers. Things. Just the papers, nothing big. And that's pretty much it. Simple, clean. So no charger in the box. We knew that was going to happen, obviously. Now, uh, this now is... TK, I, I, I'm, I'm, having, I'm running into another issue. Um, I've heard from other YouTube tech reviewers that mm -hmm. it's probably more worth it to get like an iPhone SE. And I, I was wondering, because you've had your phone for minutes more than I have, how do you handle the fact that like the bezels here are almost imperceptibly slim mm -hmm. compared to the enormous bezels on an iPhone SE? And follow up question, how, how much do you not like the fact that this is a nice big OLED compared to the mediocre sort of small, too small to really use for anything LCD on the iPhone SE for roughly the same price. I, uh, so I lost you for a little bit, but I'm totally for the iPhone SE, my friend. <laughs> I think that's what we should do. We should just switch over to it right now. Um, did, 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 I, did I cut out? I was doing my, my no. wacky bit there. <laughs> it All wasn't right. due. So what happened is my, my battery is extremely low <laughs> on mine. Oh, no. Battery, yeah, yeah, yeah. My battery level, I don't know how much yours has, and I need to plug it in so that I have enough juice to even um, Well, apparently, because it sat in, on, on a truck longer than yours did, I'm at like 60%. So um, well, I'm, I'm actually, like really like- <laughs> while, while I do this, I, I'm gonna, um, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through I'm some of even, the sensitive passwords and stuff. Yeah, so actually, let's, here, let's do that real quick. So while you're doing this. that, I'll do that on my side. So we have the getting started so, uh, tab. So you get it's right not going to focus this close. See, I do yeah. have a little battery right there, so I can. I'm going to connect to some Wi-Fi because I don't have a. I need to. My secret password: one, two, two three, three, four, five. It's the same code I use on my luggage. It's this. That's the only way to put it on the luggage, my friend. What are you talking about? Okay. Getting okay. your phone ready. This may uh -huh. take a few minutes. We are going to be oh, here. OK, I'm back up and running. I got I'm, myself. I'm, I'm very impressed so far. I mean, I, I like to make jokes about people. Oh, it feels really nice in the hand. But after using the Pixel 6 Pro, which is a pretty mm -hmm. big phone, it's nice kind of getting back to something that's even just a hair smaller than oh. the Pixel 5a. Yes. I mean, this uh -huh. does feel pretty good. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to put that on. Okay, so we're going to log in. Uh, sorry, I'm going to log into my network so I can set right, it up. Copy apps and data. Do not copy. I like to set up every phone fresh as the unique, beautiful creature that each phone is. So as, as we're doing this real quick on the specifications, obviously we want to kind of go through. This is powered by the Google Tensor. This is the same mm -hmm. processor that we have in the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 uh, Pro. Um, and the only different, there is no di difference. The processor is the same. <laughs> I was like, there's the only difference. There is I, I Okay. I'll, I'll throw it out there. I believe mm -hmm. there could be some kind of like binning, maybe mm -hmm. higher, higher performance, higher bind um, examples of the tensor might end up in the Pixel 6 Pro. But so far, There's everything we've seen on the chip yeah. yield mm -hmm. is that we shouldn't be expecting a significant difference between Pixel 6 Pro, Pixel 6 and Pixel 6a, which marks the first time I believe any Android manufacturer has played kind of the same game as Apple. Like, let's put our that current top of the line SOC with you. in every tier of phone. Well, I mean, it, it's great because in the sense of longevity, support, and also uh, consistency across across your ecosystem, you're not getting that confusing, you know, why is this a Qualcomm chipset over, you know, like or the way Samsung does it? You know, why are you selling, uh, you know, Exynos in one market and having really bad experiences and then selling, you know, in your own home territory? Well, you know, because I heard from another big time YouTuber that basically because Samsung made a phone like the A53, which almost universally people say is a less good phone than the A52, mm -hmm. but because Samsung, I mean, you get better SEO and better video watch time oh, on absolutely. Samsung videos yeah, 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 that no, because sure. Samsung has the A53 that no one should consider any other Android device in no. that tier. Um, your, your thoughts on that? I mean, we're we're obviously we should be trying to get rid of competition. Any, any right? other competition. Yeah, why would you even yeah, bring them into the conversation? That's It's bad for consumers helpful. to have choices. Stick to your SEO, you'll do better. That's, that's exactly what they're saying. <laughs> What's gonna get me the better pay day on YouTube? Yeah, because isn't that, what we're, isn't that what we're doing? Isn't that what we're here for? So okay, I'm gonna put in my, my super secret uh, passcode because that's how we do it here. So it's gonna be, um, there it is. All right, so um, I'm literally, an email address and a password into using the phone. And I think Ted has asked like three times now, four times. Um, the, the haptics, the the engine on typing feels very similar to the more expensive Pixels. So the Pixel mm -hmm. 6 Pro, I like that it's got a bit of a pop. I'm mean, Obviously, I haven't even gotten into the phone yet to see what it might feel like with like ringtones and alerts and other things, but just the typing feel I like it because it's got that immediate kind of tactile bounce mm -hmm. and it's a very brief interaction. So we've got a pretty good motor on this. This isn't like the cost savings. We're going to put in a fuzzier motor. We've got mm -hmm. a, a really straight linear activation on this, which I, I think I think feels pretty good. OK, perfect. I just finished getting my setup done. I'm logged into my accounts. Having a little bit of a <laughs> getting everything set up, you know, making sure to get the validation code and all of that good stuff in there. So I'm getting setting up my pin. Are you are you getting into your pin? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna on. I'm gonna go back to do fingerprint. I, I'm on fingerprint. It's like erased. Yeah. It's like a oh, hold on. So back at the phone to... with Google One. I'm just gonna say not right now, and I'm gonna say additional legal terms accept, and then we're gonna go ahead and put in our pin. All right. Okay. And set up your fingerprint. Now, I think the joke is going to be because Google's had a little bit more time to refine this phone. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to bet good money that um, Pixel 6a actually has better biometric and security than the Pixel 6 Pro. Well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. So we're ready to do. Are you ready to set up yours? We'll see how fast it takes both of us to do it. Then let's get zoomed in on that shot because we'll be able to do a nice little uh, focus experience. So I have it ready. It's given us a highlight of where the fingerprint sensor needs to be. And of course, this is how to uh, set up your fingerprint sensor. And we're going to go ahead and say start and go. OK, we'll do it. Oh, it's not reading. OK, so it gives you red and blue when it's reading it and not. So, it's, so you know you're doing it right. Ah, OK, so it tells me get the tip, get in there. And... <laughs> this this podcast and this live stream, this post stream uh, also yeah, yeah. PG-13. So I'm going to get one more because I always like to add both in case I decide to unlock the phone. Man, you did that fast. I'm going to add another two. Oh, I always like to 
kind of just clean this off because my left thumb never scans as well as my right thumb. You know, it, uh, we're going to have to leave that subject for another episode. Mike. No, just kidding. <laughs> I, I, think, I, I'm, I mean, like, I'm d always ready to blame me. I'm almost positive that that's a me problem. No, nah, man. But we're, you're my fingers me. never scan the same. If, if a phone likes my left thumb, then I can mm -hmm. almost guarantee that it doesn't scan well with my right and vice versa. So we're there. Look. And next. Yep, we're good. I got so now there. we're getting I got to uh, keep going for a uh, device continue. fully set up or leave it. I'm going to say leave. The continue never seems to work. I don't know because... Well, oh, it always makes me go and do it again. A yeah, day that's after, what I, it always makes me go back. So I always like, okay, you know what? Skip it. Don't worry about it. Let's just stick to it. Um, so just John, John stage. Hamilton is asking, how long will the Pixel 6a get updates? I don't know about operating system updates, but it's in line for five years of security patches. Absolutely. Because it's got a tensor and Google does not have to rely on another SOC manufacturer yeah, who yeah. shall remain nameless in this conversation. Um, we are, <laughs> they have better control over how long their phones can be supported. So we're and looking it, at five, five years. Drivers. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Four hundred and fifty dollar phone, five years of security patches. Beat that. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Were you about to go uh, top that? Like, I, like I about, what was yeah, that yeah. movie about? Like Teen Witch or something like that? Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. Top that. Uh, I'm so old. If anyone uh, got that reference, I, I sincerely apologize. So after we go through the setup, if you skip that part, so Juan's giving us uh, the walkthrough on that one. There's the additional apps that it downloads, Google Duo, Google Home, Google Keep, News, uh, basically the suite of Google applications that you can imagine. Uh, and you can check them, uncheck them, keep them the way you are. I'll just go ahead and say, okay, I'm let that kind of go through. And then it should be able to get us to our home screen. Oh, nope. Now we can turn on navigation or we can turn on stick to fingerprint. I'm going to go ahead and say, try it. We already know that it works. So we're going to say, skip the tutorial. I don't need to do the tutorial part. And um, all set up, system navigation settings, swipe up to go home. I'm ready to go. I'll give uh, Juan a couple of seconds for him to catch up with us. Um, yeah, I went and did the continue setup, and I still I I didn't go through anything in the continued setup. I'm, I'm like the worst it's unboxing bizarre. host ever. Yeah, no, no, thanks, <laughs> everybody. I want to say thanks, obviously, to everybody. Uh, everybody kicking it with us, Golan, uh, Ted, uh, John, everybody, and hey, Let's go ahead and swipe over. And Ooh, go. that's a really pretty. This is almost, um, this is almost a Sony wallpaper. Almost, as, but check it out. Our wallpapers are synced to the color of our phones. It's yep. not the same wallpaper, obviously, since we have the nice sage color on here. And uh, Juan got the panda, and of course, Google Feed is on panda, the left. Panda, 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 panda. <laughs> oh, see, I opened the app drawer, and I instantly got vertigo and motion sickness yeah, because um, it I can't handle this this is too no this is not working i need this in 120. so I so need... here's the deal guy uh everybody we're also this streaming asking? this at like 1080p at like 30 frames per 30 second frames. Which yeah, yeah, yeah. This our is frame rate happen. is gonna look like garbage regardless um okay. this looks fine dude uh, well first i, I also want to mention i just noticed this uh the camera placement moved so it used to be on the top left. Now it's present in the middle. So it's a top middle button. It's no longer mm, in the side. So it's slightly a little different that's there. That's true. The display is ever so slightly smaller. I feel like it is slightly smaller uh, overall. You're right. The phone is shorter and the display is just a tad bit in uh, smaller. So from a footprint, oh. it does feel a little bit smaller in the hand, but yeah. And there's already an update and already an update available for the camera. Well, hold on. Let's go ahead and unlock fingerprint sensor. And it works. Okay. So I'm, hold on. What, what's my percent? Oh, I'm up to 36%. I can, I can stay off cable. I don't need to. Wait a minute. Are you doing quick charging on a pixel? I don't know. It doesn't work. La Verdad? With, with a power delivery charger. So let's go ahead and put, plug it in one more time. <laughs> uh, let's, <laughs> let's close it, lock it up. And um, it's right there. So charging. So it's charging rapidly. It's uh, an hour and 27 minutes left to go on 36%. I'm, oh, I am plugging right. it into a 45 watt PD charger though. So, which if you have any power delivery chargers, you'll be perfectly fine. Fingerprint sensor works great. Lock. Let's go ahead and do it here. Oops. Unlock. So this is another thing that I, I like to show off too. When we're talking about Android land right now, a oh, massive crap. change. To launch, though. I don't think we could do this. Oh right. no. Do you have to throw the phone away? Hold on. Let me double check one time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that that launched in like a fraction of a second. And what I need is like a millisecond faster than that. I need so it to be, I need it to be there average consumers won't be able to use it because it was 
really fast, but not really, really fast. I'm going to stop talking like that. No, um, no. I, I do like showing this off, though. So one of the major changes we're getting into wow, like Android so 12. Updates. All of these updates, though, are individual component pieces. Oh, absolutely, though. yeah. Google Play. So Store. when we're when we're looking at whether or not a manufacturer is putting out massive OTAs, it's more important that we're getting all of these little bits: a adaptive connectivity services, Android Accessibility Suite, Android Auto, device policy, system intelligence, system web view, carrier services, device health services. Ooh. Um, the camera, the, the camera app getting an update, connectivity right services, there. security patching, uh, the Pixel Buds app is getting its own little <laughs> side thing right there, personal safety, Pixel camera services. This is the mm -hmm. little bit of Google software that tries to improve camera output for other social media services, private compute services, the recorder, the security hub, sound amplifier, everything that we really kind of daily drive on a phone is now being compartmentalized into tiny little updates on Google Play. And this to me is a much better update policy than what mm -hmm. like Apple's doing with major OTAs to get minor little bug fixes to all of these little system components. Yeah, and so for me, I don't know if on yours is the same. My system is running April 5th security patch update. So I think we're looking for at least um, one or two more yeah, updates to see. come in. But it's, it's oh yeah, we're definitely going to have to, and, and also Google Play services. We should probably oh look yeah, at yeah, that yeah too. No, absolutely. Google Play services is going to be in there, but I think go ahead and launch all of those and get that to keep going. I so, like the keyboard. I do like the keyboard. Oh my god, I love. I just love the simplicity. Like here, let's just uh, where is where is the voice recorder? This is this is literally my, my one of my favorite apps to use on a Pixel. So let's go ahead and uh, keep uh, backup recordings. We're going to go do that, and I'm going to say. Oh, update speech and services. Okay, so we need to update the speech uh, services pack. <laughs> I like it. It's just, it knows what to do. It's the perfect assistant in your pocket. And yeah, right. It, the, the Pixel 6a is already like, I, I know more than you. Yeah. Why, why are you, <laughs> uh, update the speech services and we can do some speech to text. Okay. Oh, I've, I've, yeah. Thanks. No. So it needs to update that. So I can, I wanted to do a quick uh, sample of how quick this thing does. Um, I want to say, let's go ahead and play, and I'm going to play like a nice little, well, not a nice, but basically my favorite song of all times. I don't know why it's my favorite. It's Jumbo by NCS Release, just to kind of get a little bit of an experience into how the sound is. Um, and let me go ahead and lower that sound. Yeah, our, our, Art Dog, Art Dog writes, uh, the display looks fine. I'm not seeing the problems reported. Now, Art Dog, you're looking at this through the compressed YouTube stream. Mm -hmm. So obviously, your opinion is totally suspect. It's totally <laughs> sus. Other YouTubers with, with millions of subscribers have said that the screen's not as nice. So two guys here just showing you what this looks like with close-up camera footage and a live stream. You're probably wrong. It's probably not a good screen. It's probably. Even if we show you that it looks great. So <laughs> while we're talking on the screen, um, let's go ahead and do real quick. This is going to be the sound test. Uh, it's not the, the best sound. So I have the volume under 100%. We have Alex Kundo. It's a non-copyrighted song, so in case you have your video copyrighted and uh, monetized or anything like that. But this is going to be just how does the speakers sound on the Pixel 6a, a brand new device from Google. And this is the beat we drop. Check it out. Stereo speakers. They actually sound pretty good. They're actually, I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised. They're, they've always been good um, and even, you know, other pixels before, but stereo speakers are pretty good. The bottom right speaker, let's go ahead and go back into that. So just for reference, oh, get back in the camera. So here we are. The bottom firing speaker is the top piece, and this one is basically the microphone. So they usually do this with devices that have uh, a bottom two bottom grills. The bottom one on the left is usually would be the extra microphone for the camera and the one on the other side is the bottom firing speaker married to the earpiece at the top to give us that stereo experience and of course it is actually a beautiful display seriously like from from overall just the colors everything on there uh, let's go ahead and press and go home the material u uh, wallpaper co configuration the widgets the home settings the wallpapers and styles you can go in there customize the different experiences go into themes change the grid size go even bigger because usually I'm, I'm just kidding it's like two buttons on the screen so i'll go ahead and hit apply on that one <laughs> <laughs> it's like going grandpa style it's like yeah i like my buttons to be big <laughs> i was like one page per button let's see is the recorder working yes 
So let me see, does the recorder actually work and does it actually type the words exactly as I'm saying them or as fast as I'm able to say things just for the sake of saying words? Juan is with me on the show, so let's make sure to have everybody say hello to Juan and happy birthday, oh. Barry Johnson, because, you know, why not have fun? <laughs> so that this looks is pretty good. This is freaking accurate. This is on device voice dictation on a Pixel 6a, 450 bucks in your hand. You could do this all day without internet. You could just do it right now on um, the phone. I'm, I'm very early into this as any kind of impression, but I just did like, if you were if, if you were watching my side of the screen while listening to TK's speaker test, mm -hmm. I did fingerprint sensor on both left hand and right hand. Mm -hmm. This is still doing, pixels do this thing. So I, I get the fingerprint sensor prompt up. You can also do lift to wake, but I'm just tapping the screen. And when I hold it, it's a two pulse. Mm -hmm. it, it, it gives you like an immediate pulse when you activate the sensor, and then it gives you a second pulse on when completion unlocks. when it unlocks the phone. So unlike, say, you know, something like my Vivo, which is just like an immediate unlock um, and on a really, really large. Now, if you notice what I'm doing here, I'm comparing a feature on a $450 phone against a feature on a $1,200 phone. Okay, so yeah. I just want people to understand, don't be poor, don't buy poor people phones. The only yeah. phones worth demonstrating different features on have to have at least a three times price difference for that, for that to be a good comparison. Um, but, but the, uh, I, I, I feel fairly confident in a first impression saying the fingerprint sensor on the 6A is better than it is on the 6 Pro. So for me, I will say I can do the test right away, but I, um, I've always felt like it feels a little bit that from doing it right now, as we're talking, it feels like the six, uh, the six pro is running a little bit faster, but I don't know if it's because the six, a is running a little bit warm with the setup. So there's also a few things going on in the background. This is obviously not optimal usage. We, we haven't fully set up the device. It's actually in the process of downloading, installing, updating, and probably running a whole bunch of different things. For me, they run very nice and very smooth. They feel- Now I'll, I'll say it, the six pro got way better over the mm -hmm. course of Absolutely. software updates. And I retrained my thumb after installing um, a Whitestone dome screen protector on we my 6 Pro. Have, yeah, we both have those. Out of the box, 6A is feeling more oh, responsive oh, than my 6 down. Pro yeah. is. From from initial so. unboxing, it, it, the, the funny thing is the show notes for the show, I realized for been, sure. I've been copy pasting them for some time. There's the same show notes from when we did the <laughs> unboxing of the 6 Pro. It literally says <laughs> no, to Google for right. the 6 Pro for review. So I just have, to, have replaced the Pro with the A. That's how that's, that's how hilarious. Bad that's how bad I am at copying and pasting. Um, but let me do this real quick. I want to show you guys a couple of the, those cases I was talking about because I know yeah, let's have, see them. Okay, make we, make your screen big because I'm looking for another phone. I can't find. Don't okay. listen to me right now. I'm I'm <laughs> gonna mutter as I wander around my office. Let's listen to. No, I'm just kidding. So here we are. Um, so these are uh, cases from Poetic Cases. I'd want to say thank you to for Poetic Cases to sending me these cases. There's two of them. So here we are, one on both sides. So we have the uh, the Revolution. So basically the Poetic Revolution and the Poetic Guardian, uh, right there. So the, those two different cases. The biggest difference between the two, on top of the fact that they offer us two solutions, uh, what I mean by that is um, the ability of using them with a uh, built-in screen protector that comes with uh, in their system here that allows you to actually adhere to the display, or you can use it with a, that without a screen protector. So for me, this is the clear case. It comes very nicely wrapped. And let's go ahead and do, yeah, this is where I don't like wrapped things, and I know I should have done this ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, because I, I know they're putting it for protection, but uh, it typically just so, adds a lot more. While, yeah. while you're doing that, Rico Man 17 says, I think I've been lucky with my Pixel 6 Pro, never had any bugs, and the fingerprint sensor, fingerprint scanner seems good. Um, yeah. My experiences with the 6 Pro have been great. I will say I don't think it's got the best in display fingerprint sensor i feel like there have definitely been better ones but it's mm -hmm. been usable and nothing has been as bad as kind of like the first generation of lg like when mm -hmm. the velvet fingerprint sensor was not nice to use at all that one was really clumsy the pixel 6 pro was definitely better than that oh, okay. i'm of course being as snarky and as facetious as i possibly can be because i feel 
many people's commentary on a $450 phone is getting more than just a bit silly with a very obvious bias towards how they monetize their YouTube traffic. So I'm being cynical and sardonic, but I also feel there are some creators out there who have earned a little scrutiny over <laughs> the way that they deliver some kinds of commentary. Just a little bit. So while Juan's going through that, that was our uh, our one case. The other case, exact same configuration, but it's a different, uh, the, it gets a kickstand in the back and of course gets more oh, nice. uh, ruggedized configuration with the same opening, but you get the experience both uh, either covered or uncovered. So for this one, I'm really loving the fact that we can see the sage color. And of course, if I want to go with a kickstand, I can just swap it out. And this one is, I'm not using the glass protector or the protector that they include because that one is a, a adhere. It sticks to the display. I prefer to use glass. So I'm going to see if hopefully uh, our buddies over at Dome Glass will be uh, providing or making some uh, glass protectors and, of course, install that and get that. So, right. yeah, I mean, I, I hope they do because I expect Pixel 6a should sell better than Pixel 6 Pro. And oh, absolutely. they did a great job on the Pixel 6 Pro screen 6 protector. Pro was sold. Oh, my God. Yes. It was sold out for ages. I, I mean, it took a while. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I'll be curious to see, though, because, like, I feel with the flat screen on on Pixel 6a, it, mm -hmm. it'll it probably be because it, it's not like a taper. What do they call that? It's like 2.5D, just like yes, that little yeah. bit of a curve to the to the very edges of the bezel. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be too hard getting a good regular adhesive screen protector on this phone. No, I, I think it'll be actually pretty good. And speaking on the conversation yesterday when we were talking about the uh, X70 Pro Plus, Greg gave me a good recommendation. He's like, why don't you try to use the Pixel 6 Pro non-glass protector, but like the TPU glass protector? It's the same size and the camera camera placement is in the same spot. So I actually ordered one. I'll let you know really? tomorrow if I'm able to get that. Yeah, that would, I, it didn't hit me to least like he recommended it. I'm like, okay. So let me know if that works because <laughs> because be I think it's almost identical to the X80. Um, 6.7 inch? Then maybe, yeah, it should be. I think so. Just not the glass. Anyway, just won't try to use the glass protector because. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, but but I mean, just I, I just need anything to guard same. on that phone. Oh, so, oh, um, I I did want to just do a little side by side. Now, obviously, um, I'm using there this is. as a stand-in. This okay, is sure. not. I, this is not the actual phone, but I have the superior mm -hmm. iPhone SE. Um, this is actually an iPhone SE 2020, not an iPhone SE 2022. But as you can clearly see um, here, if I if I show this side by side, um, this phone is four hundred and thirty dollars with five G at Apple, and this phone is four hundred and fifty dollars with five G from Google. You would never want to use this Google phone. The screen is too big and vibrant. It looks too good. Um, this phone starts with the the iPhone starts with sixty four gigabytes of space, mm -hmm. and the Pixel starts with one hundred and twenty eight. So really, you've got too much space it's on the Pixel. Much. Yeah, what it's too much, that? right? Yeah, I mean, like it's you're gonna much. shoot so many photos and videos, and then you won't know what to do with them. You'll have too much <laughs> clutter. So you need to go with the iPhone. Um, as you can see, the bezels are way too small on the Pixel Six A. I don't know what you could. I mean, seriously, I don't know what you could do with that. I mean, how do you? I, how, how can you even hold it? See, at least on the iPhone, I can like you know like wrap my whole hand around it in ways where I never interact with the screen. And here on the Pixel, like every time I do something, it's like with immediate purpose, and the phone responds instantly. Mm -hmm. And that's just not okay. Also, I mean, I don't understand why this is such a trend. You've got two camera sensors on the back of the Pixel. Yep. And you're like, right. why not just have one gooder? camera sensor like the pixel i mean like the iphone se has it's you know apple you... knows you only have the one camera sensor and that's good enough for average most people consumers yep so why would you waste your time with two camera sensors i don't know on the you pixel? Do. You, you're going to be wasting your time trying to figure out what the other sensors does there's a whole bunch of different obviously comically <laughs> and then my touch ID, id just failed to work on the <laughs> iphone se <laughs> Um, sorry, that that wasn't that wasn't a planned. I, I mean, and lastly, I mean, it's things like a, a mono speaker, right? There are people out there, TK, who don't have two full functioning ears. That's true. And I think it's very forward thinking of Apple to say, "Hey, we're going to put this out, Stereo's like out pretty much 
That, that's yeah. basically what they're telling us. Um, I do want to so, say, I just noticed something while you were talking about that one, Juan, is um, <laughs> our cards. There was a card included in the box that came with our nice little yeah. pixel. And it says, scan to activate an AR filter experience. So oh, I don't no. know. Yeah. So let's, hold on, let me switch over to, to do the uh, wolf flip. I can't imagine what, what that might be. Yeah, I was just going to say, so it's, make me small. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and switch it over. Oops, let's not, uh, that, that, so here it is. So basically, Pixel 6a quiz, use the effect in the Google Pixel uh, to get ready to be viewed into Instagram. So we'll go ahead and say open. It's going to jump into Instagram. And of course, Instagram needs to know everything about me because that's how Instagram runs. Um, and right, uh, essentially, we'll go ahead and click it. And then we're going to start. Oh, no. You know what? Actually, I take that back. I think I need to start. <laughs> it's we're doing it live. We're doing it live. I love no, it. Uh, we're going to say, OK. OK, here's my. So it needs yeah, to see our... my face. So hopefully we can do this. OK, you, you guys could see me here. Here you are. Oh, so wow. OK, Pixel 6A. Pixel 6A feature quiz. Feature quiz. I can see that. Start. Uh, two, one. Okay, is it Pixel Six A or Pixel Six I? And you tilt the. Hey. I, I'm gonna go to the. Uh, go to the side. Can we do it? And no. Uh, come on, tilt to answer. <laughs> How do we do it? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, it is to the to the left. Oh, here it is. Okay, Pixel Six A performance. So we have uh, what Google desired chip powers Pixel Six A tensor or potato. That's a tough one. I, I'm, I'm going to have to go. Yeah, that's tricky. Uh, let's, uh, it sounds, it, it sounds like potato good. would be correct. I but... don't want to say potato. Let's see. Can we get potato? Come on. <laughs> it's, I'm having to keep this straight. Okay, so tensor is the right <laughs> answer. You went right. The next one is Google Pixel Tensor Chips uses industry-leading AI to enhance performance, photography, and is it protection or uh, perseverance? <laughs> protection or perseverance. Uh, I'm gonna go protection. <laughs> let's let's see. Can we do protection? Okay, come on. One more. Oh no, it's perseverance. I got it. Oh uh, geez. And it expired. I took too long. Oh no. <laughs> it's recorded this. Oh, now. is it recording me that whole time? Oh, that's great. No, no, no. It only it. Uh, you're going straight into the noggin. It recorded anything in the studio. No, that's what I mean. Is, is yeah, like yeah, no, the, no. yeah. But yeah, that was a nice little thing. So if you haven't had a chance to want um, on the card, there's a little QR. I'll give it a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I, I'm not using a lot of those social media. <laughs> I was I was corrected by one Mr. Max Weinbach that apparently Max, the iPhone dude. SE does have stereo speakers. They're just really not great. So I, <laughs> please pardon my... Uh, our, buddy, our buddy Max is in the chat. Can my you... missed step on that one. I, I mean, uh, so obviously for $430 and 64 gigs of storage and a 750p LCD, it's got stereo speakers. So there you go. There's your purchasing recommendation. Why would, why does this Pixel 6a even exist, TK? I, I think it's... it's I, I need to make a really confuzzled thumbnail. Like I just can't figure out why an Android manufacturer would try to make a targeted market positioned phone at the sweet spot where the majority of Android consumers buy their phones. I just can't get there. I just can't figure it out. So, well, let's initial kind of impression, obviously <laughs> unboxing and, and everything kind of going, because I know we're on a tight timing a little bit. I'm, uh, not that I'm trying to kind of bring his railing in, but um, the camera <laughs> so far, the build quality is very nice. It, it's it's, it's actually good. it's emulating something better than what it is. So I, I think if if, it, if there's anything there that definitely looks like it's glass, but it's you know, definitely plastic. Um, as you said, comparing it to the SE, which is technically the 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 page that Google took from Apple's uh, book, if we have to kind of reference it there, um, it features a lot of the same things. Similar flagship processor, Tensor, uh, slightly tailored down experience, obviously from the from the big guys for the big boys. Um, but overall, it, the core experience is still there. Uh, it seems like it's running very nice. I can't judge per overall performance, obviously, since we're we're setting we, it up. We've got to jump in and test. Oh, and absolutely, yeah. There, it, fun stuff we have too. to go through the setup and, and give it about a day or so with the power cycling and so on as well. Um, but I'm I'm very happy with first and foremost. I'm very very happy that you know they sent me the right color. I was sold on that. I got that. I'm done. Winning. That's it. I'm done. Move on. Next chapter in the book. Um, cause that's what I was, no, seriously, like if you guys were watching the show last night, that was exactly what I said I was ordering. That was exactly what I had in the, in the shopping basket and it showed up. So like, yeah, <laughs> that's Juan's thumbnail. I'm, right I'm, do, I'm doing, I'm doing the thumbnail. 
hold on. Yeah, I got to leave this for a little bit longer so that we can capture it for the stream and then we'll catch it from there. Right there. Like, uh, got it. <laughs> Good. Okay. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like we gotta do it we gotta do it live so so th this is this is I, what we were talking about last night with barry on best of our week it's a standalone youtube channel where tk and i run our own podcast called the best of our week Absolutely. um the most Did exciting like part of yeah. of what we're looking at for pixel 6a isn't really an exciting consumer facing feature or thing yep so long we've been complaining about like the fracturing of the Android ecosystem, the the issues with longer term support. Wouldn't what? it be great if a manufacturer could take better control over how they update their phones? Mm -hmm. And here we've got Google delivering that experience. So I understand there are going to be pros and cons. Oh, always, no yeah. device is free of pros and cons. But what we have is a Google ecosystem, which I expect will also lead into a Google tablet, the next tablet, also probably having some form of Tensor, Tensor. SOC that's in, inside there. Yep. And now top to bottom, we have Google hardware with Google software. This is our first step. This is this is what we've been talking about. We can now claim longer, uh, longer support. We have a greater consistency of, of services and features across the entire product lineup and We've got a sweet spot where Apple is weakest and where globally smartphone consumers shop Android overwhelmingly at around that four to five hundred dollar tier. That's like our peak of the bell curve um, it, and with more people buying sub four hundred dollars than over five hundred dollars. Yeah. So with all of those things lining up to me, this is a critically important phone for competition. Mm -hmm. It should yep. not be casually dismissed because no, no. there is no option like this in North America. In other regions, like we've got a lot of people in here asking about like, um, you know, the nothing phone. We just both recently played with some Pocos, like the X4 GT is I a screamer. This. It's a monster Tensor competitor yep. in, in, this, in, this, in this price tier. And then we've got phones like the IQ, the Neo 6, we've got Realme's, we've got Redmi's. Internationally, there is a wealth of higher performance SOC competition at around this mid-ranger price mm -hmm. in the United States, we do not have that. I mean, if you're really going to pull like hold up a Galaxy A53 against a Tensor and say, objectively, we can make a purchasing recommendation for people and you ignore mm -hmm. all of the features that make a Pixel unique, then I think you're doing a disservice to that to that conversation. I think you are not joining that conversation in good faith. Yep. You're more talking to the majority of Samsung fans and telling them to pat themselves on the back for not buying a Pixel. This is exactly the kind of phone I'm going to be sort of showing to my folks. My dad yep. had a Pixel 2. He he lost his Pixel 2 and he ended up getting a Galaxy S8, I think, mm -hmm. as a replacement. He hated his Galaxy S8. Now he has a Pixel 4a. And this is this is his through line. Like when he looks to shop another phone, it's going to be something like a six A or a seven A. Yep. This is like right up his alley. My my sister, her husband, they're on Pixel five A's. My brother's like on an old Moto. I mean, this is in that that real average consumer sweet spot for mm -hmm. competition. We can't say average consumer and then hold up $1,200 phones and show you slow motion of refresh Pantage rate screens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pan, pan, pan it across Pantage. our uh, office from a cinema grade camera. That's not average. That's not average consumer. Average is median price around $400. Absolutely. And while we, were, while we were talking about that, uh, Max just confirmed, I think they did mention it at Google I.O. that Tensor will be powering the, the tablet coming up next year. Oh, OK. So I just remember from I.O. when we were watching the keynote, they said Tensor, but I didn't know if that meant Tensor 1 or Tensor 2. So I didn't get to oh, follow up with any of the, the, yeah. the little breakout rooms or any of the conferences beyond the keynote. So yeah, I didn't no. know if it had been confirmed because it makes sense to me to Tensor 1. Oh, absolutely. And, and running Tensor 1 a little more aggressively in a larger form factor device with a better battery, mm -hmm. a, a mid-price tablet with a Tensor chip 
could be real good. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. The display is honestly very nice. It is very nice. I mean, it it's just clear. It's clean. There's no issue. The viewing angles are actually very nice. Um, obviously, 60 frames per second, you're going to have to live with that, you know, but that's just how it is. Um, you know, we, we can't make it into 120, but we'll have to, you know, the 50% division there. So um, pr predictions, um, because I've got to get going here in about five minutes. Oh, uh, so thank you, everybody, for jumping in. But to wrap up our little co-stream here, thank you, everybody, for, for sticking with oh, yeah. us as we obviously we're being snarky and sarcastic but super, i feel with super some, snarky and sarcastic please <laughs> with some relevant uh grievances for the current state of tech in commentary yeah, yeah. your predictions on the pixel 6a what what are you gonna sort of lean into next what are you gonna try and use it for where I, where does tk bay go now that the phone is set up and ready to go so right now tk is going to be charging the battery and going to magic mountain tonight because i want to test out that night <laughs> photography baby <laughs> There's a new Wonder Woman ride. Uh, no, uh, actually, I'm, I, you think I'm joking? But yes, I'm, it's, I am. No, I, I want to ride um, the Wonder Woman ride. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, please, please continue. So, um, <laughs> for me, I honestly, so I'll, I'll be very honest. Ultimately, this is going to be my son's phone. My son, mm. when I showed him, I showed him a lot of the, the the information about it. He was very excited about it. He loves his Pixel 5a and the Pixel 6a. I feel like it's straight up into that level. But I love the fact that it's more uh, it's a more powerful processor and you're still getting a uh, very similar camera experience. So he's happy with the existing camera setup on the 5A and the 6A is going to complement that. And I think we're just going to see some more improvements in that area. But the main focus for me, I, I think, is the uh, understanding what is the purpose of the 6A and sharing that benefit there. Why does the 6A make sense? Why should somebody mm -hmm. look at a 6A over other, or other devices? And uh, being that it's the closest to the Pixel 6 on sale, that also could be a conversation for some people that may want to maybe step up. So there's a little bit of give in that market. But I want to make sure that what Google promised us the 6A is supposed to be is the 6A is performing to. So endurance, mm -hmm. battery life, uh, charging experience, uh, usability. And of course, I, I'd love to get some imp impressions as well for my son as to how he feels like this is for him. Does this make sense? Does he like the new improvement? Does he feel the differences? Or, you know, if you're on a 5A, you could probably stay on that and maybe go to the next one. So, things sure. around that experience, just live in experience. And, um, you know, uh, what do you get for 450 bucks from Google in 2022? That's literally the, the main message. So. So I, I'm I'm kind of with you. I I'm looking I'm looking at this as a North American crossover phone. We take mm -hmm. these kinds of phones for granted with Pocos. Yep. Like oh yeah, because we get to screaming see them, yeah. high performance SoC in a four to five hundred dollar device enables mm -hmm. the user to have more compute capabilities mm -hmm. in any given moment. So the fact that we're 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 using Tensor over a seven hundred series Qualcomm at this price here in North America. My hypothesis, if you run your Pixel 6 Pro with all the eye candy turned on, the 6A might be able to outperform for some of the compute tasks that we, we might want to try on our phones. That's true. Now that we've got a tensor, and we've got a good camera sensor in here, even if it's not the most bleeding edge class leading camera sensor ever put into a phone, why would you expect that at $450? It shoots I 4K think though, there's... man. It shoots 4K60 on the main sensor on the back. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> but but again, I have an expectation that now someone might be interested in trying a little light video editing for social media. We live in a world of the TikTok. You can't tell me someone wouldn't be interested in cutting up, doing some simple splices, doing some simple edits. I think that because we're running a 1080p screen at 60 hertz, a little of the load of the UI in the environment is going to relax as compared to because I, I run my Pixel 6 Pro full resolution, full speed. I mean, I, I it's oh, got eye candy. I turn the eye candy on. You need. Candy. I think yes. this might actually be the better. I mean, obviously, it's the better bang for buck because it's like half the price. But what I mean is it might be able to outperform the Pixel 6 Pro. That's the first thing I'm going to start checking out is at half the price do you actually end up with a more performant phone Almost. running the SOC? I th Same I SOC. Think, no, no, absolutely. I, I think we, we've seen this many times in the past when you have a higher refresh rate where the processor has to run more horsepower towards letting the UI elements run smooth while you're doing other benchmarks and so on will hinder some of the performance. So this definitely could have the right experience. 
the battery is a little bit smaller, obviously, but that's you also have sure. to keep in mind that it's it's a 1080p panel, not a, not a QHD, and it's also 60, not oh, 120. Like, I, like I think our days of like Pixel 4a, 5G, and Pixel 5a being these battery life monsters, mm -hmm. we're not going to see that. I mean, we don't even need to pretend. I mean, that's another early prediction. If, if you wanted the phone that's more mainstream for communication, but with better battery life, you still have time to grab yourself a Pixel 5a. Magic eraser but... is in here. <laughs> we <Of> got... course... <laughs> <laughs> I, like I mean, obviously, obviously, I didn't, it, I was just like, is it there? Is it sitting in there? Juan takes that? selfie and then wipes his own face out of the magic eraser <laughs> photo, just because oh that's now how I'm Juan feels trying to figure out, wait, wait, okay, let's see, can I take TK Bay in the background out? Let's see how that goes. Oh my God, this is good. <laughs> but but I, I don't know that I've been this excited for a phone. Again, there's nothing here that's going to be one killer sexy reason that a consumer is going to say Pixel 6a, oh yeah. It's that I've been playing with phones from like Infinix and T, uh, TCL yeah. and Pocos and Xiaomi's and Redmi's and Realme's and iQoo's. And we haven't had something like that here. The Galaxy A52 was pretty good. It was a really good phone. The A53 is less good than the A52. And the iPhone SE is such a consolation prize of a, a phone for someone who wants the cheapest way to get into iOS. We're so close here mm -hmm. to the lifestyle applications that this is a phone that almost but can't quite hang with an iPhone 13. An iPhone 13 is going to cost you $800, is going to start with the same amount of storage, has yeah. a 60 hertz refresh rate display, has two cameras on the back. Snail we are, yeah. It's built nicer and it has wireless charging. Is that worth an 80% price difference for this so-called average consumer who exists out there? using their phones as communication devices. And I think that is a good fight. I'm not saying there's a winner. I'm saying that's a good fight and there's a $300 price difference between those two phones. And I think at the end of the day, when you're looking at a Pixel device, a Pixel 6a, Pixel 6, 6 Pro, even earlier generations, this is truly a tool to unify and make it, it's an assistant. I think Barry said it perfectly last night. This is your assistant in your pocket does everything that Google offers and it's in your access, your your gate to all Google services and it does them the right level on device fast. Yeah. And you're getting 5G sub six on most carriers, obviously. T-Mobile, AT&T, I think initially Verizon, I don't have an official word on that. But the overall experience right now, it looks very promising. I'm very excited for what the 6A is bringing to the table. I'm excited that Google reinvented the A series. This is truly a reinvention. We didn't shift from 5A to 6A in the natural progression that we went in previous yeah. years. This is for truly sure. a renovation. And we don't go in two sizes. It's it's the XL, it's the model you want. XL all the way. You want to have you want to fight me on a small phone, fight me. <laughs> but a different conversation. But um, it's yeah, I mean it's it's not huge though. You've got a Pixel 6 Pro that's huge. You've got a 6a oh, that's yeah. a bit more reasonable. I, I just, you know, we're never gonna have like the Pixel 5 little pixie. Oh, I, I was, yeah, phone. yeah, no, no. The Pixel 5 wins so many different other things for people that love smaller form factor. And I've recommended that to so many that have wanted smaller phones that do the exactly. You get that nice little <laughs> you get one more phone, you have the bar signal for your phone. Uh, but I, I was gonna say, I mean, like 6a is is smaller than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. So oh, again, it's, you're it's you're a just a little bit more than the bezel, <laughs> uh, taller than than the and than it the has Pixel a bigger 5. battery. It's a five thousand. But anyways, and it does. Um, There's I, actually I like a pretty good upgrade path for someone on a Pixel Five oh, to go yeah, with yeah. a phone that retails for less than what the Pixel Five started at. But I digress. I really do have to to get yeah, going no, here no, now. I, I've gone a, a little bit over. So folks, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. We were co-streaming this on both of our channels, so make sure you hit up TK's channel, make sure you hit up mine. We'll obviously Absolutely. have links and descriptions and oh, links are in the show notes and, already, uh, and comments and all that fun stuff. Always. And and be on the lookout, because we're going to have a lot more to say about sort of this, this end of summer we're going to start yep. seeing some more devices launching for back to school and for yep. laptops and tablets and things oh, that are absolutely. going to be getting people uh back into the office and back into classrooms so this is just like for me this is kind of the kickoff into that kind of a conversation as we look forward to some yep. more competition yeah, uh, it's exactly. really pretty I, I mean i'm so glad we got the phones we did 
I'm, 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 I'm glad that you're so into that mint, but ever yeah. since the Pixel 4, I've loved Panda. And yeah. so I'm, I'm like, this couldn't have worked out better. If we had gotten the reverse, I would have driven to your house tonight. You would have been like, I see you. To, to swap right them. No, 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 for sure. <laughs> so as always, uh, everybody hanging out with us, thank you very much. Like and subscribe as usual. Hit the bell icon. Check out both Juan's channel and my channel. Information in the description. We will see you very soon. I'll see you guys actually in the morning for the Android Bay. But other than that, be safe, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.